It's Francisco Rivera, UFC man and weight fighter, and you're watching MMAElite.net. You just got into MMA Elite. You're the newest member on the team. So yeah, we were just talking about how you got uh, the last two fights. You had two knockouts, and you're saying that there were more knockouts, right? Yeah. Uh, three of my last four fights were uh, knockouts in the first round. Uh, two of them were in under a minute. This last one was. It took a little longer. I was taking my time and um, I was able to finish that one. I'm on a four-fight winning streak now. Two with the UFC my last two with the UFC, and then um, I'm hopefully to get another fight soon, and hopefully get to show it again. Not a lot of bantam weights in my weight class are knocking people out, you know, that fast in the first round, so I just want to prove and show, you know, my skills as much as I can. Why do you think that they're not knocking them out? Uh, I just think maybe trying to, I, I don't think they're really hitting the right spot or, or real technical on where to punch somebody. I'm always looking punch certain spots, you know, and I know where to hit somebody to knock them out. I've always done it in the right spots, and then it's worked. Even in training, I'm doing it, you know, daisy people, and it's just hitting them in the right spots. And it's, everybody has, if you get hit in the right spot, anybody's gonna go down, so, so it's good. And then my size, too, I'm really powerful for my size, and I'm I'm not really skinny and shredded, I'm more thick on top, so I'm kind of like the Mexican bo bo boxer type, you know, body, so I have that Mexican power. <laughs> Is that, is, that, is that your uh, is that your background boxing or uh, no or your base? I started doing Muay Thai first, but my hands have always been really heavy, so I kind of transitioned to the boxing, doing more tech, like go boxing and training with boxers and you know how, how to punch and punch certain ways, and then that's how I, I started getting my power a lot more. Hmm. So uh, you living in Orange County? How's it? Or are you originally from Orange? Yeah, yeah, I'm originally from Orange County. Uh, raised in Buena Park, California. Elementary, middle school, junior high, high school, all of Warner Park in Orange County. It's by, right by Knott's Berry Farm, so a lot of people are familiar with that. But yeah, I, I live like in Brea right now, in the Hacienda area. Um, that's like my hometown. I'm always in Orange County. Orange County. How'd you get into fighting? Uh, I played college football. I broke my ankle at Orange Coast College playing college football, and then uh, I was always active in the gym, in the gym, in the gym. And my buddy Brian Joplin, who uh, passed away in a car accident, he was a professional fighter. He was like five and one. He was a really good fighter, and he got me into it. And I just started training, and that's how I started. I did, I did a bunch of amateur fights. It was really good. Six months into training, I got my first amateur fight, and then that's how it started. Mm. How, uh, so, what was your first fight like? Oh man, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. It, it's totally different. I went in there just like a street fight thinking I was going to knock somebody out. And, uh, I lost the decision and ever since then. After that first fight, I was just like, wow, this is crazy. And then I kind of kept going. So, uh, so Bantamweight division. So who, who, you, who would be like your top, your dream fights right for your next fight if, if they were going to give you... Uh, uh, my cool. next, I definitely would like to fight a stand-up fighter, you know. The last two guys I fought in the UFC were ground guys. So give me somebody who wants to bang and put on a show, you know, either knock me out or I'm gonna knock you out. I just, I just wanna go in there and fight. Any names? Uh, definitely, I'm gonna see, like Eddie Wyland's a good one. He's, he's, he's a, a, a good stand-up. Uh, definitely, uh, Burrow's a great stand-up guy. Uh, just, you know, anybody who wants to stand and bang, a lot of these guys say they all stand and bang, and then once they get hit, they start shooting in and trying to take me down, so. What did you think of that last fight with Faber and Burrell, right? Yeah, that was sick. Man, they're so both so technical and so well experienced and, uh, you know, top five guys in the Bantamweight division. And I watched every second of that, and it was really, really good, great fight. I'm a fan of both of them, so. Yeah.